the boss lady here coming to you from my vehicle on my way to get breakfast and get to work. Uh, whew, today is hump day, y'all. Happy hump day for those who celebrate. For those who don't, happy Wednesday. <laughs> you know how I do. So, today... You'll see this on Thursday, so thankful Thursday. You know, I always got to give praises and thanks of, you know, where it came from, from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, we're supposed to get some warmer weather. Like, right now, it's 36 degrees. Yesterday, I woke up, it was 18 degrees. <laughs> okay, it was 18 degrees. Hopefully, that sun don't get too disrespectful because I want to get this video in. But, um... Sure my face is good. Um, we're supposed to get a little warmer weather, and I know for my southerners is that you know when I say warmer weather, y'all gonna be like that's freezing. Please believe me when I'm talking about Minnesota, no other state. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're supposed to get warmer weather where I can go outside and put my lights out. So even though boss man didn't want me decorating, you know, right away. When we did have the week of the 70s, you know, the week of the election, he was like, this is the week you should have put your lights out. And I didn't think about it at that time because I was just like listening to him about, you know, not wanting to decorate. So <clears throat> I didn't, I didn't decorate. Sorry about the son. You know, son loves me. Anyway, so it's not going to be 70s today. It'll be about 40 something. But as soon as I get off work, I will be outside putting my lights up because dinner is already cooking. And I'm actually, the dinner I'm making today probably will be the dinner for tomorrow, which will be Thursday, which will be the day that you're seeing this. So for today, if that makes sense, um, because I had already promised the family to make something else today um, for hump day. But we shall see. I don't know. Um... But yes, I'm going to put the lights up today. I won't turn them on until probably Thanksgiving. Because then once Thanksgiving hit, oh, it's a wrap. Boss man, I already know. Well, I don't even know how I used to sit up and wait till December 1st. But no, it's a wrap. And it's a wrap because Miss Peanut wants those lights up. Hold on one second. But yes, so Miss Peanut wants her lights up. She wants to feel the joy and the whimsy and all of that. And I'm her mama. I'm supposed to make it happen. So he he's now on board. But yes, so Boss Man's on board now because, you know, Miss Peanut wants the, the lights and all that. So it's going down. Like tomorrow is, well, when you're seeing this, this will be Thursday. And that Thursday is normally my night to have whatever I want with the TV. Hold on a minute, y'all. Y'all look a little, I don't know. Okay, it's a little better. But I think it's the, I think it's my window, the reflection of my window. Anyway, um, but Thursday nights is usually my night to have TV to myself. What I do with my, Lord, y'all done lost my. Here it go. <laughs> I'm like, I done lost my straw. I'm thirsty. But it's my night to myself to watch TV, and so I plan to pull out some tubs and get it cracking. Because once I get my lights up outside, outside will be technically done. Um, I do have a blow up. Oh, I got a pimple. I thought that I kept, like, you know, picking at some of my face, child. Mm. Anyway, I have a blow up to go outside, and I'm kind of wanting to put it out now. But. Uh, I don't know. We shall see. But anything from Miss Peanut. So, yeah. At first he was no, no, no. But once I started telling him how she was feeling, oh, he was like, uh, yeah, do do whatever the baby needs. <laughs> okay. She is her mother's baby. So... I have, I'm trying to get the, I want to get my cocoa bar done first, but I have something that's coming in the mail. Like I got a box coming on Friday, it says. So I'll have to keep watching the tracking for that because Miss Pina's going to have to get that. Um, 
because I don't want my box to just walk off the porch or anything. Of course, there's something in there for Boss Man, too, because he has the, the Santa hat that's the black and white, and it says Bah Humbug, but his he had it for several years, but it got destroyed in the basement. I don't know, it got knocked down and fell into the nastiness of you know basement life so i ordered him a new one because he's like, i want that i want that okay well you know whatever i need to get myself a new santa hat i have one but mm, i might just do the headbands since i'm wearing the wigs anyway <laughs> and i got some new hair coming y'all oh my god i'm so ready i'm so ready now don't get me wrong i love this one i got on right now and it's human hair but i want to you know preserve it too so i got some new ones coming a um, little smaller curl, a little, little, little bit more length, though. I think, yeah, I think the curl patterns are a little bit smaller. And I think I got one that's bone straight. The one that's bone straight is not human hair, which it's all right. I'll rock it for a second. Anyway, but back to decorating. So, yes, I will be, I will be decorating pretty much from now until I'm ready to start recording. Um, the trees will be the last to go up because I have to record in sections, but um, especially the dining room tree. Dining room tree, that one will go up for sure next weekend, but Bentley will be going up hopefully this weekend. We'll see, you know, because I got to get prepared for Thanksgiving too. So trees will be last. Bentley shouldn't be bad. Now, Bertina, I don't know. I almost thought about pulling Bertha out of retirement, but... Bertha girl, she take it all out of me. And I was, oh, that's what I was going to tell you guys. So I was on, I'm a part of this Facebook um, group. It's a Facebook Christmas group I'm a part of. And it's with people from all over the co different countries. So I mean from the UK and everywhere, right? And I got a lot of ideas from from the group which was really nice but one thing that had been happening because I've just been a part of this group now for the last um, I'll just say month I don't think it's been a month yet but anyway well you know people have been putting up their trees and people have been giving their stories of why they're putting their trees up and this and that and so some people's trees are very elaborate some people's trees are very, you know, blinged out or glam. And then you got more of the traditional trees. You got the farmhouse trees, you know, whatever. Well, people, because of people seeing certain trees on the in the group, people are now making comments like, um, this is my tree. I know it's not a lot or it doesn't look like it's whatever, but this is my tree. Please be kind in your comments, da, 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 whatever. So then, I think the administrators or mod moderators, is that what they call them? Whatever it is, I don't know. You know, what whatever people are. <clears throat> they started, you know, putting up posts saying, please stop posting and downing yourself about your decor and how you decorate your tree. You know, how you decorate is how you decorate and how someone else decorates is how they decorate. So, you know, it's not... It's not one way is better than the other. And I said, now if people can do that from all over different countries, I mean, because like when I posted, it was like, you know, I'm from this place. They were like, oh, I'm from here. I got so many comments of different countries and states, but different countries. I was like, well, hey, how you do? I mean, you know, I mean, London and France and Italy and you know Missouri you know, <laughs> Vegas whatever so anyway I say all that to say I hope and pray that people are not um, you know as they view YouTube these next few weeks days you know into the new year I hope that people aren't feeling down on themselves or you know wanting to wanting to have more but for whatever reason can't and so then they go go through a depression because I've noticed I have noticed that there are people who are going through depressions and it's because of 
just because of how a person decorates. It's not even because, oh, they lost a loved one and they're missing their loved one. Or, oh, because there's a pandemic and they want to be with their loved ones, you know, during the season. It's all because of decor. Excuse me. And me personally, now y'all know me. <laughs> I'm going to do what I do. Why? Because I'm the boss lady. I don't care what the next is doing. You know what I mean? If you glammed up, be glammed up. If you farmhouse down, okay, you rusty, have at it, you know? You whimsy, okay, you more traditional, I'm, hey, hats off, you know what I mean? I don't care. If you got a tree that's so full of mess that if a fire hit through your house, it's going to blow up the house, that's on you. You know, if you have a tree where you only got a few little trinkets on there because those are your most prized possession of trinkets, have at it, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not caring. I mean, I care about what's going on in my house. Only thing, and I'll be honest, only thing that I have like envied, if you want to call it envy, is that when you decorate a tree with the ribbon, and I'm still trying to perfect my ribbon on the tree. Other than that, baby, I could care less about anything else. As far as colors, as far as if it's rustic, farmhouse, traditional, glam, whimsy, whatever. You know what I mean? I want to do what I want to do because why it makes me feel happy. And that's what everybody should do. Do what makes you feel happy. If you have 10,000 trees in your house and, one, and another person only has one, okay. You know what I mean? Or if you see somebody with five trees and you only have two. Don't break the bank to try to get up to five trees. So what? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious. So that's just my little tidbit before we get off into this season. Now, I know people have already started showing their trees off and showing off their decor and whatever. That's fine. You know, I, I had someone tell me, oh, because in, in my group, someone was like, are you waiting until after Thanksgiving? Are you decorating now? And whatever, whatever. So that was one question. Then another question was, um, it was to the ladies. Do you, does your husband dictate, you know, when you put up your decorations or whatever? And so people, you know, had their different comments. And of course I comment and I said, well, my husband doesn't dictate, but my, us, my husband has asked me, you know, to wait and out of respect for him, I'm waiting you know but now with Miss Peanut saying hey I need a little happiness and that brings me happy he's like okay now have I started decorating very little very when I say very I mean very little I started in the bathroom I started outside but you know what I mean I haven't gone full fledged now mind you everything's in the dot well not everything let me take it back huh Hold it, hold it, hold it. Everything is not in the dining room. I do have a lot of stuff that's in the dining room that needs to be, you know, distributed. However, I got stuff in the dining room, stuff in the living room, stuff in the kitchen. And then, of course, all my storage areas. So, you know, I mean, it's going to take me a while to get my stuff the way I really, truly want it. Um, but that's because that's me and that's what I want to do. You know, some people can put their decorations up and... 20 minutes and be like okay i'm done okay and then some people do take you know the whole month of november or whole month of october or you know whatever so they can enjoy their stuff so i mean don't compare don't compare you know don't do not compare yourself to the next one the next jane the next john do what you want to do for you and for yours because that is what is special you know this year um, we won't be able to gather. And so I am thankful that I do have YouTube where I can record and put the videos up so that my family can see, oh, wow. Like there was one year, I don't think it was last year. I don't know what year it was. But anyway, it was one year where um, my family was like, you just have, your house is just Christmas. And I was just like, I'm critiquing it because I'm like, yeah, well, I could have this, I could have that, whatever, whatever. But they were like, no, you know, your house is Christmas. Like, 
it brings me joy. And I was just like, oh, okay. I mean, you know what I mean? So don't compare yourself to anyone else, especially these different YouTube channels, mine included. You know, I'm not going to put myself like, oh, I'm just, you know, the, the exception. No, mine included. Don't compare. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes your family happy. Something's going on, y'all. So I got to go inside. Lord help. I don't saw two cops and lights and sirens. Okay, well, we're going to cut this short. <laughs> Hallelujah. But anyway, bottom line, don't compare yourself to anyone else. Do what makes you happy. Um, me, personally, I do what I do. One, to make myself happy. Two, to make my children happy. Um, this will be the first Christmas since my grandson has been born, so in nine years, it'll be his first Christmas that he has not been able to see his granny's house. So, you know, it, it kind of makes me sad, you know, but I am still trying to keep the happy. Um, I know there's a lot of people who are depressed right now. There are a lot of people because they've lost loved ones this year. They lost loved ones past years. So, you know, the holidays bring about sadness. And for me and myself, not me and mine, but just me and myself, I choose to be happy. You know, there's enough sadness. I choose to be happy. So that's what I want to leave you guys with. But it's 8 o'clock. I got to go. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. See you on a new video. Bye, guys.